today I'm going to have a look at jockey wheels. Um, we're going to have a few different jockey wheels that we're going to be looking at, um, explaining the differences, what our views are, and then I want you to let us know what you think is the best jockey wheel and what you found the best. So let us know in the comments. So yeah, we're going to have a look at different jockey wheels. This is something that, especially I think for, well, people that have had vans for a, a long time, new people coming in, it's always a question, what is the best jockey wheel? Because we've got sort of a steel inner with a rubber tyre. We've got a plastic with a, a sort of a rubbery tyre. We've then got pneumatic ones so that's got a blow up tyre we've then got the big alco sturdy one with like a, a rubber sort of finish on there so that's quite a good big beefy plastic one uh, you can then get more aftermarket like this cart one that's fitted onto this one which is again a metal with a rubber wheel which is very very similar to that very first one that we looked at now why so many jockey wheels? Why? Why? Why is there so many different ones? And the reason is, is that um, you, you're using the caravan on tarmac, you're using it on gravel, you're using it on grass, mud. So not one jockey wheel is going to be perfect for every scenario, unfortunately. Now, I'm going to start off with what I prefer. Uh, and not everyone's going to agree with this. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I prefer and why I prefer it and then we're going to have a look at the comparisons of the different ones. Now, this is the, the standard big Alco type um, jockey wheel which has got a big plastic middle, a big fairly sturdy um, tyre on there. It's not a tyre, it's more of a plastic tread. Um, now these are a good all-round tyre and the reason that I like these is because it, it will work on the, the tarmac, it will work on the gravel, it will work on the grass and it, it is a pretty good all-round tyre. Now a lot of people are going to disagree and say no actually I like the pneumatic tyre um, and again the pneumatic tyres are a very very good tyre and and probably in some situations will outperform the tyre that I've just shown you. So your pneumatic one is this, this type where you'll blow it up so it's actually got an inner tube in there and you'll inflate that um, and then that will go over again all the different surfaces. It will, it will handle and work really, really well on grass, gravel, mud, dirt. Um, on the tarmac it will, it will move and it is it is actually a little bit easier to move a caravan around on the tarmac by hand with that tyre and I'll, I'll admit that. Now the reason that I'm, I'm not saying that that is my favourite is because of this. Now I guarantee, uh, and I, I, I ask you to put me to the test here, uh, if, if you've got one of those inflatable tyres, I'm going to put my neck on the line here and say pretty much everybody that's got one has been in that situation where the uh, the tyre has gone flat and has needed pumping up now. If you're prepared, that's not an issue. If you've got an inflator in the car, um, it, it's not an issue. It's, it's when you turn up to storage and you've not got the inflator in the car, that is an absolute pain in the backside now to, to try and sort out and fix and, and actually move the caravan when the tyre's like that. And that is, that is the big reason that I prefer that bigger um, sort of plastic big jockey wheel opposed to, to that inflatable one. Yes, the inflatable one will actually perform a little bit better, but that big plastic one is never ever going to uh, go down like that. You will find if, if this drops down while you're travelling, um, it will shatter the plastic in the middle and, and possibly break the wheel and you'll be in 
even worse situation than the than the pneumatic one but if if you actually tighten the jockey wheel up properly and that doesn't happen then um you've you've got to have it's got to have been an accident basically for that to have happened whereas your inflatable tire um can just happen just because you've left the weight on the tire it then goes flat and it then perishes and you then need to buy a new one um, so you'll see on the sides here this has only been left um, a short time and it's already started to perish on the on the side so unless that's inflated fairly quickly um, we're going to end up where that tire is actually no good anymore and you're going to have to replace the, the whole unit where the only time that you're going to come where you're going to have to replace that bigger thicker plastic one is if it just gets completely destroyed now i've not myself personally done that where it's dropped down it's smashed and it's caused an issue but again there's a good chance that there's quite a few out there that that has happened to it's either hit a speed bump it's dropped down um so i'm saying i'm not saying that that can't happen which is then again where i think the the metal one with the metal inner and the rubber tire then sort of comes into play because if that drops down um it's it's not going to do as much damage and it's probably not going to get destroyed like the plastic one will um, you might end up with a bit of a flat spot on here if it's dragged along the dragged along the floor etc um this again isn't going to it's going to work really well on the on the tarmac and firm grass but as soon as we get onto gravel, uh, a slightly muddy field, we're going to find that that's going to be digging in um, and, and not being as effective as the other two that we've looked at. So again, it all depends how you're going to use it, basically. If, if you've got a gravel drive, um, that's probably not going to be the easiest for you. You're going to probably want to look for a, a bigger one. If you sort of go, well, no, actually, I've got a tarmac drive where I keep it, it's, it's on real hard, firm, solid ground. Where we go on holiday, we only go to super pitches, so we never have an issue where we're going to sink into the mud, etc. Then, yeah, this, this type of tyre will possibly do. Um, so again, that's the, the same as that cart one that we just looked at, basically. Um, and that that for for solid surfaces is going to do the job it's not going to if it drops down it might just put a bit of a flat spot on the actual tire but it shouldn't get destroyed like the plastic or the pneumatic types will um the other type that they do which is the alco one again which is like the plastic version of that one that we've just looked at now again um the issue that you've got with that is if that drops down while we're traveling the chances are that plastic middle is going to get destroyed and that is then going to become completely useless again so let us know in the comments uh, they're sort of the four main types of jockey wheels that are out there and what are available what have you found has been the best do you agree with me um, which I, I know pretty much a lot of people out there aren't going to agree with me with that big plastic one um, I think most people will possibly like that pneumatic one but it's just that inflating of it if if you've got no pair if you can't get an inflator to it um whereas i like that big plastic one as i say because it is an all-rounder so let us know in the comments what your thoughts are what you prefer and then what you like out of all of them thanks i'll mark at the caravan place <laughs>